Aiken Red House, 1820. And those first couple houses over there are a couple of the other houses they owned. And this is the park that was there when they lived there. Serious history right there. So I'm just gonna video this and you can pause it and read about the slave auction site. This is down here on Gillen and East Bay in Charleston. So here's, as you read, the 1700s, early 1770s, slaves were sold uh, right here. Also went in inside. Uh, here is the old exchange building they're referring to in the sign. Okay, just thought I'd add that little bit about some of the slave history here in Charleston. Some of the old cobblestone roads. Okay, so now we're standing in front of the old slave mart here in Charleston. Uh, apparently, would they, would they just tell us how many slaves came in? 11 million slaves were brought to the New World. 500,000 to the United States. Almost that many bought, brought to the island of Barbados. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can hear all that. It said 11 million, 11 million that were brought over and only 500,000 came to the United States. Barbados in itself had, they took just as many as the United States took. And so the, the slave trade ended up being uh, something that you could not do anymore. And by the early 1800s, they outlawed bringing any slaves over. So the slaves at that point were all American born. So those were uh, actual Americans at that point and being sold uh, here at the slave mart. So this was closed for years. In 2007, they reopened it back up. So you can do a public tour. It's about $15 to go through and tour it. And 60% of that 500,000 um, came through the port of Charleston. So that was interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, that. that's, that's interesting too. Yeah, 60%. That's a lot, of, uh, a lot of the slave trade coming right here through Charleston. Okay, so we came to Charleston today. We're going to do a video on some of the sightseeing we're going to look at in Charleston. There's all kinds of history here, you know, dating back to the 1600s. Uh, but I've been kind of fascinated with some of this slavery history that they've got here. So let's put a, together a few videos here to show you about some slavery information. This first thing we're going to tell you about is the uh, a story of a slave who freed himself. What was the name? Robert Smalls. Robert Smalls. He was a uh, pilot of a 149-foot ship, Confederate ship. And at night, he, when the crew was um, on shore, him and six other slaves, including his family, went out to the ship and stole the ship, sailed it past Fort Sumner and up to the Union Army and turned the ship over to the Union and, of course, was freed after that. Yeah. Talk about making a stand, right? Make a stand for yourself and changing your life, you know, taking taking charge of your own life and uh, changing your whole trajectory of your future and your family and everything that you'll ever be standing about. He takes the ship that he pilots and frees himself as a slave and uh, gets over to the Union. So anyway, that happens right here. And this is right down the street from the Rainbow Era, Rainbow, Rainbow Houses, Rainbow Era, um, which do a little short uh, spot on that, but the Rainbow Ooh, Houses actually oh, were preserved. They they stood all the way back into around, was it 1600s? 16, 16. Yeah, back into the 1600s. So they were actually there. They've been there through all the slavery, through the war, through uh, hurricanes, and just, I mean, they've stood the test of time. Revolutionary and, War, Civil War, earthquakes, hurricanes. Yep. So, Okay. So the rainbow row of houses and the water is right back here behind us. You can't see it right through those trees. Now there was a wall in front of those houses and the Union Army actually shot over that wall and destroyed part of those rainbow row houses back in the Civil War. It kind of gives you an idea of what it looked like. It had that wall and it had 
these ports that jetted out. See that brick? That was where they had some guns mounted to help protect them. All right. The old exchange building, that had a little more history than we knew about. It actually was a prisoner of war building for the British during the Revolutionary War. And in the late 1700s, they ratified the Constitution in that building. You come down the stairs on the other side, there's a little tiny liquor store. Supposed to be the oldest liquor store in the United States in the 1600s. Okay, so we're in outside of Charleston, uh, back to the RV. I just wanted to wrap up the video from today. We went to Charleston to do, to see all the history and didn't realize how intense the slave trade was here. So we kind of got hung up doing you know some learning some of the history on that pretty important history and i think it's great that they've got that here and you know celebrating the history of it you know, they've got the confederate memorials down there while they also have uh, the slave uh, slave trade information down there so I, I just think it's awesome because there's a lot of parts of this country that are just trying to you know delete out um, any kind of confederate things and you know those were part that's parts of our history whether you like it or not, I mean, that's part of the history, just like slavery. And we're all human beings and, and uh, we all make mistakes, whether it's mistakes today or mistakes a couple hundred years ago. You know, we uh, make mistakes and learn from that and let our kids, kids see that and grow from that and become better people in the future. And the fact that it's all here to celebrate from, like I said, the, from the slave mart to Confederate Memorial to, you know, the uh, seeing the, that mansion where you can see how you know, different human beings are living on the same property and, and how that ran. So anyway, um, Charleston, awesome place to visit. Some pretty intense history and come here, check it out. Look at, you know, look at the, um, everything else that it has to offer. I mean, the, the Freemasons were initiated here, which I had no idea. And uh, like I said, that the old exchange building wasn't just slavery. I mean, it was a is a prisoner of war area during the Revolutionary War that was ran by the British. I mean, some seriously old history. So anyway, take your time. And if you've got a few days, spend a few days and uh, check out all the death parts of Charleston. All right, that's all I'm gonna say for now. And uh, thanks for watching.